it is offloaded from the barge and towed to the vehicle assembly building where inside it will undergo some brief initial checkout before it's rotate, rotated to vertical and put into a test cell. And then it is later, after the solid rocket boosters have been stacked on the mobile launcher platform, it is lowered into position between the two solid rocket boosters. Solid rocket boosters are built up first, then the external tank is lowered between the two of them, and then the orbiter will join them later. Here is the main engine installation. Customary three engines are installed and then tested. This is the landing gear test. This was on January the 25th, 2011. One of the numerous activities that go on in the processing to prepare Atlantis for launch. These are the many thermal protection system tiles. That was the Elevon being raised into position. This is some of the tile work. One of our tile engineers from the United Space Alliance. We have a combination of high temperature tiles on the underside and lower temperature tiles on the upside. This is the closing of the hatch between the payload bay and the orbiter's uh, airlock and mid-deck area. Here the hatch is being cleaned as it's closed for flight. The payload remaining still to be installed. The KU band antenna is deployed in a, in a test to assure that it will deploy properly. Before the payload bay doors are closed, the KU band antenna will be providing a lot of the uh, video that we'll see during the mission. This is the power up of the orbiter in the high bay, the orbiter processing facility to to some of the checkout activities, particularly the crew equipment interface test activities. And then Atlantis is ready to be backed out of the orbiter processing facility and takes about a 20 minute trip over to the vehicle assembly building transfer aisle. <laughs> Opportunity for the crew who's worked on Atlantis to wish her well. And once uh, in the vehicle assembly building, the lifting sling is attached and Atlantis is rotated to vertical so that it can be hoisted and mated to the external tank solid rocket booster stack. And once it's hoisted up, it will go across the transom. It's rotated slightly, clears the transom by about eight inches, and then it's lowered. As we see right uh, adjacent and next to the external tank, that sets us up for the rollout, which was on June the 1st of this year out to launch pad 39A for the final flight of the space shuttle program. 